Dr. Temple Grandin of Colorado State University has long been known in the cattle industry for her pioneering work in cattle handling. But in recent weeks, the name Temple Grandin has become far more widely known as the result of an HBO movie about her life and her success in overcoming autism. In fact, the movie won seven Emmy Awards, including the top honor for Outstanding TV Movie. Before the Emmy Awards were handed out, NCBA honored Dr. Grandin at the Cattle Industry Summer Conference in Denver, Colorado, as Brian Baxter reports. Temple, you remind us that America's dream is still alive, that one person can make this huge difference. We recognize Dr. Temple Grandin today, whose pioneering work changed the way every one of us cowboys look at the way we handle cattle. You changed the way we looked at facility design, and you changed the way our society looked at people with autism. With a standing ovation, Dr. Temple Grandin was honored with a special Lifetime Achievement Award during the Cattle Industry Summer Conference. Prior to the award, scenes from the movie version of her life were shared, and Dr. Grandin told Cattleman to Cattleman it's a movie she's proud of. Oh, there's a lot of, you know, really good, a lot of really good parts in it. Of course, I really like the cattle parts of it. Those are some of my favorite parts. I also like the parts of my science teacher, because if I hadn't had my science teacher to mentor me, I wouldn't have gone anywhere. I was a bad student, I wasn't motivated to study, and he got me interested in studying. And, you know, because now I had a goal of becoming a scientist. And one thing I really liked about the movie is they duplicated all my projects absolutely exactly. The uh, dipping vat was built off of uh, my original drawings, the whole curved uh, cattle handling facility. The uh, gate you could open from the car was done off original photographs. I actually built that gate, actually did work. The optical illusion room, and then, of course, my squeezing machine, that was all done off of, uh, you know, original plans. I was especially involved in making sure cattle of cattle accuracy. I said if they're black and white or they have horns this long, you don't use them. So they've got to be the right kind of cattle. You can't have something that looks like city slicker. Accuracy when it comes to the cattle industry is a passion for Dr. Grandin, who says she's especially pleased when her work makes a real difference in people's lives. I like seeing real things happen in the real world. I'm not into theory. You know, if I have a mother of an autistic child come up to me and say, well, your book really helped me with your, their child, or my kid went to college because of one of your lectures, that makes me happy. Uh, or I have a rancher come up to me and he says, well, I have one of your handling facilities. It works really well. I um, you know, really like it. You know, I'm handling the cattle so much better. Um, that, that makes me happy. It's trying to make positive change in the real world. You know, with real things, not just in theory, but real things. As Dr. Grandin visited with cattlemen, she noted that as a result of the movie about her life, she found people are much more interested in how cattle are raised than many in the industry might realize. I found, I went out to Hollywood and I did the press conferences out there, uh, and I was in the fanciest hotel in Hollywood, and the press didn't, wasn't very interested in movie questions. They were interested in cattle questions. How does a captive bolt stunner work? Um, how, 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 how do cattle live in feed yards? They were just asking all these like cattle questions. And the moderator had to cut it off because they weren't getting any movie questions. People just want to know. In Denver, I'm Brian Baxter reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Now we'll have more with Dr. Temple Grandin on next week's edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.